In the Others tab of effects, you will find some miscellaneous effects. One of these is pull compensation. Pull compensation is applied to designs to counteract the tendency of designs to pull fabric in when they are embroidered. A default value of 0.2 millimeters is applied and is suitable for most designs. You can adjust the pull compensation if you wish, and it is recommended that you adjust pull compensation for auto-digitized and magic wand designs. The recommended amount is 0.4, but you can also apply a different value to lettering. So let's choose to apply the 0.40, and you'll notice that the lettering gets bolder. So you can use pull compensation to make lettering bold. Also in the Others tab is Travel on Edge. So you can see in this decreased density design, the travel stitches are showing going through the design. If I select that design and check Travel on Edge and apply that, the travel stitches are forced to travel along the edge and you cannot see the stitches going through the design. Jump connectors move the embroidery module from one part of a design to another without needle penetrations. You generally need to trim the connecting thread. These connectors are shown in design view. When I press the T on the keyboard, you will see the connectors. Dotted lines are long connectors, and that means that they are more than 12.7 millimeters in length. The solid line that you see in between these two objects is a short connector. The long jump connectors have needle jumps of up to 7 millimeters along their length. These connectors will slow the machine while moving to the next needle penetration. The values of long connectors and the length of jumps can be changed in the Others tab, but it is usually left at the default setting. The maximum jump value can only be decreased and not increased from 12.7. The value of the jump length can be increased to equal the maximum jump value of 12.7, or it can be decreased to 0.3. Smaller jumps will increase the time required to stitch a design, but will move the frame more smoothly across a design. Auto jump will preserve long stitches in an object by splitting them into a series of jumps. For example, when you're stitching fringe or a tassel or raised satin stitches that might exceed the maximum length. This prevents the machine from adding unwanted needle penetrations to these designs. All embroidery machines have a maximum stitch length, which is determined by the frame movement limitations of the machine. If a stitch exceeds this, it will be broken into smaller stitches.